In this tutorial, we will do the authentication in Angular. To do that, I have first created a Cedar class, which I'll quickly show you. This is what I have uncommented and this is the class name. So I'm just creating a normal user with the password as pass and email address is my own email address. Now, once this is done, I'll create a controller and I'll have an additional method called do login where I will check for the authentication. So I'll say php artisan make controller user controller and then I should get that with the basic stubs. If you see the route list, I have, oh, I'm sorry, I need to define that in my route. So route resource user. Yes, so I have all the users rest endpoints which I can quickly access. Additionally, I will require one post URL auth and I'll say user controller at the red check. Okay. Come here and need the request object right and the rest is the typical authentication code which I'll copy paste and come back because I have already shown that in my previous tutorial series okay so I have the code basically I'm creating a array email password which are the two fields and I'm getting them from the request object. Do the auth attempt if it is incorrect. Now this is a little different. Because this is a REST endpoint, I'm not going to redirect or show any view. I'll just send the response out. This is the message and this is the code. So if I get a 403, then I'll understand that yes, this is a error. Otherwise, I'll always send a 201 which means a success code and I'm returning the user object okay so this part is done and now we need to create our angular code so that we can start the authentication let me go to the login.html right we need a form in this so I'll quickly stub out the markup and then get back okay so this is my form a basic form with name I'm I'll be submitting it through Angular, so it's an ng submit, the username field, password field, and the submit button, and this looks something like this, right? Now, what I need to do is create this method, do login, right? And make an HTTP post, which is like an Ajax call from Angular, to the REST endpoint, and validate if the username and password is correct or not. Now I have forgotten to add one very important variable in my master template. So I'll quickly add that which is the base URL. This variable will help me form the URLs in Angular very easily. So I'll go to my master blade and I'll say script base URL equals this. What will happen is in my source code I'll get this variable anytime when I whenever I run it on a different installation path okay so with this done let's quickly jump to our user controller user controller dot JS which is inside my resources and in that I will create this login form function
I'm passing the login form so the login form is basically used to validate whether the form has passed or not and those validations I will tell you later on but for now let's just ignore it and see if the data is coming or not let's say console dot log this and oh I forgot to run the gulp so what I will do is from now because I am going to make changes I'll keep it on a watch so that the files are auto generated every time and I don't need to run the command it's time to quickly use the version command from elixir I'll quickly set it up let's check it out so I'll get my gulp file and in that I'll say mix version so I have this HTTP request going on where I am setting the content type to application slash JSON this is my URL method is post now the username will be dollar scope dot username oh, actually it will be dollar scope dot login dot username so dollar scope dot login dot username and same with the password right so I'm sending these two variables they will go to this URL where it says user controller check auth let's quickly check the check auth function it will get email password and it will check the credentials quickly go to our application hit refresh okay before actually hitting the URL I had made one mistake which is I have not added the slash here so what I'm going to do is every time I'm going to append the slash here in the script base URL instead of writing it in my route so that the variable is like this and now as you can see the authentication worked because I got the user object which is ID is one name Amitabh Roy and if I make some mistake in the password it will simply give me the 403 forbidden now I can handle it on my application by doing something like inside the user controller get the error in this I'll get data status headers right and so this will be inside this function okay and quickly console.log data status headers and alert login error and let me quickly check the response object so that I can append the same error message which is coming from the rest endpoint hit refresh reach me some weird password and I'm getting login error and the first thing which is user doesn't match this is the error message I'm looking for which is inside data so I can do alert and this hit refresh So now username password doesn't match that's the error message now the final step is basically if I am logged in successfully I will need to redirect the user to dashboard obviously so get the location object and in that I'll do dollar location dot path and I'll redirect him to the dashboard hit 
refresh the correct password and I'm redirected to the dashboard page so yeah this is how we have handled the authentication in the next tutorial I will show you how we can safeguard our routes by checking whether the route is being accessed by an authenticated user or not